Well, here it is, episode two of Boruto, and what an episode. Boruto actually got in a fight on his first day back. Wow. What's going on, all you Boruto fans? I'm Predable60 here, bringing you guys the next Boruto review video. This is going to be a review for episode two, and we officially have a time frame as to how long this has been since um, the whole war with Naruto and Kaguya and Sasuke and all the rest of the people. It's been officially 10 years since that war, as mentioned in episode two by, I wanna say, Wabe. He actually mentioned that, and that's actually a new character that was introduced in episode two. And it's actually really cool that they even brought that up because it was just like, everyone has really been just on Boruto's case and just pretty much saying that he's riding his dad's coattails. And we all know that Boruto doesn't even care to be around Naruto or even care to, you know, involve himself with Naruto. So for people to tell Boruto that you're riding your dad's coattails is ridiculous. Now in this episode as well, we also had some new characters introduced. Of course we have um, Shikadaya and that's also uh, Shikamaru's son, him and Tamari's son. So that's, he's been there of course. And then we have the other people who were there from episode one. And now we have Eno Gene. He's actually Eno's son. I'm pretty sure Eno and I don't think they really went over who's together and who had kids because I still don't know. There's a kid who looks like Rock Lee. I really don't even know where that kid came from. I really want to know how or who he is. And they also have, um, of course, Sai and Eno's son. Like I just mentioned, Eno Gene. And pretty much his character, he has to always be the smart ass. And he always has something smart aleck to say or just something that's just not nice. And, you know, Boruto actually mentioned something to Iwabe. And it was pretty much just, you know, no one's just, you know, strong. And that, that you know, that doesn't make a person a ninja because he's strong. You know, it, it takes a lot of hard work to get to where you want to be. And it just it's just not all about strength like you think it is. And that's not how everybody got to where they are. It's like, you need to get a, get a grip, dude. You, you just aren't getting the better picture here. It's like, you think one way and it's completely wrong, completely and utterly stupid the way you're thinking. And that's why you got held back twice because you have the wrong idea about how ninja came to be and what ninja are even about. But of course, at the end of this episode, Boruto and Iwabe become friends after a long fight. It was a pretty interesting fight, to be honest with you. It was pretty basic, though. There was no real, like, cool techniques going on. Now, of course, Boruto has uh, fought with Iwabe, and he's been the only person that uh, Boruto has seriously fought before. And apparently, Boruto can only make four up to four Shadow Clones. And, you know, that's not really that much, but it, it actually did pay off for him. You know, of course, a lot of people may be wondering, how did Boruto even learn how to fight? Well, I do know that Naruto trained him a little bit. You know, Naruto did what he could. And I guess once he became Hokage, he got too busy to even keep up with his son or his family at all. And I hate to say that because we all know Naruto's a great person. It's just... We have to figure out why Naruto is so secluded in his work. You know, you'd expect him to want to spend time with his family from time to time. And it's just like, it's, it's almost like he doesn't care to. Because we know, you know, she's, uh, Tsunade, when she was Hokage, and even Kakashi, you know, they made free time. They weren't always in the village. They made, or they weren't always in the main area of Kona. It's just they wanted to be able to go out and do whatever they wanted to from time to time. Because Tsunade would even go out drinking and... Kakashi even went out, you know, and took naps in the middle of, and just, you know, out in the open in the Leaf Village. So, you know, it's not like Naruto has to constantly be in the office, you know, doing paperwork and just, you know, all that good stuff. Now, in this episode, once Boruto defeated Iwabe in battle, of course, Nar Boruto actually got the chance to fight in the old tuning exams ring, and we saw that Boruto overcame Iwabe. Everyone said that Iwabe was very skilled, and the teachers were very impressed with Iwabe's skill at Taijutsu, and Boruto actually overcame Iwabe, and Iwabe got really pissed and decided, he, was, he told Boruto at the beginning of the fight, he wasn't going to use that little staff or pole, whatever it was, because he didn't want, he said he was going to end up killing Boruto if he used it. So he said, to keep it fair, I won't use this thing. But once Boruto overcame him, he basically just put that all aside and he was just, he did not want to accept being defeated in front of all of his classmates. And so Iwabe decided to grab his little stick and he used it and he did something actually that's new that I have not seen that I don't think anybody has seen. And it was basically, he took the stick and he, he pulled, I guess they call it earth style. I think that's new, I'm not sure. But actually no, I don't, never mind. that's old and it's, 
just something I never seen before. The move itself was actually something that was new. He basically pulled the earth onto the end of the stick to make a giant hammer. Um, something like what Thor uses in Marvel, but it's pretty much a giant hammer. And of course, he didn't actually get to use it because Eno Gene was actually the one who drew up a Super Beast Scroll eagle or whatever you want to call it falcon and and he basically just took that hammer away from iwabe the way he couldn't even use it so after that you know boruto gave him a little speech and was like you know you you really gotta study man you can't just expect strength to get you through this whole exam you know it doesn't it doesn't work that way and you know it was more in detail but i'm just giving you guys a short story since this is a review but yeah he basically just told him you know you, you gotta really study it's not all about just strength so Keep that in mind and maybe you'll actually pass you know it's just ridiculous that you're still in here for two years and you're still here you know you're good at you one thing but you're not good at the other thing so that's one of the things that is iwabe's downfall but i think i overall enjoy the episode it's pretty interesting of course you know things are starting to pick up i don't really think they were boring in the first episode because they're, they're i guess they're the writers are trying to keep this show interesting by letting something happen every episode now i'm sure they will have episodes where nothing really goes on or just chilling around everybody's just like talking and whatnot i want i, I really don't hope they don't and this is the one of my main things that i kind of had an issue with now some things i did understand but this is the one main thing i had an issue with and it was basically i really hope they don't resort to using flashbacks you know i don't want filler episodes nobody wants to see filler episodes everybody just wants to see story and if they focus mostly on story and not fillers then maybe this show will actually be a lot better than the original naruto shippuden series now i'm not saying that they shouldn't have fillers at all because you know there is some things i'd like to see especially as, as to how naruto became hokage when was that announced and you know when did you know kakashi step down and how, and how naruto even chose shikamaru to be the person in charge as his uh, right hand man now i think kakashi actually chose shikamaru and that's uh, shikamaru probably just chose to stay because he gets to work alongside naruto so i'm pretty sure that's that's probably a thing i'm not sure totally but i'm, I'm more than positive that's how it happened of course i always tell you guys to just tell me in the comment section below as to how things happen especially with shikamaru becoming the second person or the person to be right hand man because i really i'm not too sure but like i said i really think kakashi chose him and then maybe shikamaru just decided to stay so you know i just think that that's one of the things that really kind of stuck out to me now that like anything else and maybe even show boruto training with naruto at some point you know because they they even have it in the game i know i haven't played it but they even have it in the game that Boruto and Naruto actually got to train together. And Bor Naruto was actually just, you know, I guess really happy that he got a chance to train with his son. Because he even mentioned that he must be just really happy because he never got the chance to train with his dad due to what happened. But guys, let me know your overall thoughts on what you thought of episode 2. I actually thought it was pretty interesting and I really enjoyed it myself. And I, I just really like where they're going with this. And the fight scenes are still just as good as they were in Naruto Shippuden. I really like the fight scenes. And I really feel like this show is going to turn into how basically Naruto went from being a kid. And he kind of grew up into Shippuden. But I think they're going to just kind of show Boruto. He, I don't think they're going to make him mature too much. But I think they're going to eventually have Boruto mature. And you know that way he'll be more used to doing things like using his eye maybe sasuke trains on how to do that and then you know it'll progress from there but who knows we'll have to just wait and see i'm pretty sure you should you people who you read the manga will probably tell me what what you probably could tell me what happened but i would prefer you not tell me because i really don't want you guys to ruin the story for me so anyways if you guys enjoyed this up this review actually go ahead and subscribe down below because of course i enjoy communicating with you guys and just pretty much showing you guys that um this is you know i'm something i want to do and talk to you guys about because this is really fun for me i get to actually discuss what we saw so it's pretty much how we watched it together and it's like good to get feedback from you guys but if you guys are boruto fans at all or any kind of naruto fan go ahead and subscribe and if you guys want to show some support you can feel free to go ahead and rate that thumbs up button as well as share this video with as many people as you can because of course i would love to get the name out there get the word out and we can all discuss this as one big group and it's be kind of like a book club but except we're watching a tv show so go ahead and show your support in that way as well and if you have any comments or questions or would even like to answer the whole 
question I asked before, then go ahead and do that down below in the comment section as well. So until next time, guys, this has been your broadcast and unpredictable is out.